There's the shit you really gotta fucking worry about. The shit you don't see is the shit you really gotta fucking worry about. And that's the perspective of where this world's gonna be. 100 years or less, the fucking whole ocean levels and all that shit's gonna be totally fucked. I said out Most of warning. the lines are going. going I said out of warning the other day that a says. Our countries, we're gonna lose. By 2023, there will be no Homo sapiens. We are on course that if we don't fucking act right now, this pandemic and the bio. Biological warfare, fucking terrorism, fucking shit. Going Tell on everybody to get their vaccines, bro. Yeah, people get your vaccines. But if you're fucking healthy enough, work with the fucking programs that they have and do that. What kind of but programs? If you have an, what kind of com- programs? If you have a compromised immune system, you need to have a specialist and a special formula. Yeah. They've been working on that shit through my own fucking body. Yeah. Well,. Other fuck ups are fucking my body up worse. Yep. Now I'm fucking dependent on insulin. You're a I, guinea pig. I became a fucking diabetic. You're type a guinea pig like me, when right? I was borderline, not even close. Do you want to cure that, bro? And they fucking a lot of my shit. I have cures for diabetes. But you know what? My body's still pretty good. Ah. They fucking operated on a lot of shit in my body. Oh my god, you are a and fucking I'm machine. A, I'm still a fucking. You're a transformer, dude. I'm just a fucking badass. You're fucking like one warrior, of those. You're like, well, I'm you're built a- to be the most dangerous motherfucker. Yes. That has got some serious fucking uncooked slab of raw beef. The people are going to be when they fuck with the fucking wrong motherfucker. Let me ask you this. When we're on the street. You know what it is? Uh-huh. I've kept it real with every fucking person. Yeah, be real. Imagine. Keep it real. Keep it real. Look at the look at the fucking bigger picture. People running around like they're fucking hot shots. And they're fucking doing such a great fucking job of being a contributing member to our societies that we have in this world. The galaxies, the universe. Who are you talking about? What kind of Everything. People? All peoples. Uh-huh. All. All peoples. All of creation. All of All creation. of sustainable life. Yeah. All of intelligent life. Yeah. All of the fucking races that are intergalactic. You know what are some more intelligent than humans? And using it. I mean, dude, most of the creatures. Universal yeah. Most of the creatures on this planet. Yeah. Not, why laws were set down uh-huh. in the historical books that are also religious books. And why the wealth of knowledge was spread out across the whole fucking world in different versions. Because the more the different versions you think were religions, yeah, there's more that are fucking same. They have some kind of proverbial fucking warnings in propheticness like I have. They have fucking all kinds of references to what is a moral code for yep. sexual interactions yep. Yep. and babies and yep. marriages. Yep. And how you have to respect thy mother, thy father, thy elders. Mm-hmm. It's in the Ten Commandments. That's, it, it's, in, it's in the commandments. It's in the native cultures. It's in the Muslim cultures. Yep. It's in the Jewish, mm-hmm. the Hindu, mm-hmm. the Buddhism. Yep. You know, Tai Chi, like, you know, martial arts. Yep. All that kind of stuff. Martial artists follow Different very denominations, code. even within some of the, quote, monotheological or multi-god and goddesses religions. It's all very valid. It's all a fucking story of the history of not just this planet, but all the fucking people who are back and forth to different planets and visit with us. Yeah. All kinds of shit like that. That kind of shit's fun. And, I love yeah. that. And you got to be careful who you fuck with and oh, who yeah. you don't fuck with. Oh, yeah. Because there's a lot of predator shitty fucking things. Yep. I've been in high classified, fucked up fucking dog fights for my life mm. and whooped ass and saved a lot of fucking lives and kids. Because before we really realized what was really going on, there's fucking periods of time where I call it a rapture event. Rapture? We're, rapture event. Yeah. It's a rapturous thing. You can be teleported in a time travel fucking quantum leap time warp. Dude, I sent out the four horsemen about <coughs> 11 years ago. <coughs> and you have to fucking fight to save your family. Like in the movie Back to the Future kind of thing. You know what I'm Sometimes saying? Sometimes I'm like, fuck my Shit family, like save myself. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, everyone, the way that my family treats me is... Yeah, I get it. Uh, they, Sometimes they have to zero. fend for themselves. They so. ghost. They don't yeah. help me. People ghost They all have on cushy, me. multiple vehicles, yeah. big cars, I motorcycles. I got the same shit going. And, and I, I probably earned the money. And they don't answer the phone. Yeah. They don't return a call. Yeah. I probably earned all kinds of money I've never been able to spend. For material access. Yeah. You know what I've invested in? What they call a rainy day fund. Or an all fuck where we're having an apocalypse fund. It's federally insured. It's state insured. Hey, dude, that gives me an idea to start an insurance company. We should start an insurance company, man. Catastrophe insurance. 
That's a fucking great idea, yeah, dude. Think about it. You just gave that's me what I a wonderful have. idea, it's dude. It's called the Designated Survivor Program. And then you can say there will be the world choices ends, and Wait, hold on, hold on. different things. Hold on. That what? Happen. Once the world ends, you could say that you know we don't have the money because it all burnt up. Yeah, and how could I fucking go, um, you know, just what grab what all my is, shit that's mine supply, from my tomb somewhere we're doing, of the last life? What the fucking basis <sighs> of all of it? Who's got a lighter for me, by the way? I do. I want that torch. That torch. Torch? <clears throat> the fucking basis of reality is all life giving, intelligent, and respectable, unalienable moral compasses on the survival of ourselves and all species yep. within the fucking You know what I've been working on? You know who I'm saving? I'm saving the bees and little tiny universe. ocean creatures. Yeah. Little tiny ocean creatures and bees. All I did a ceremony for that. that. That shit that's showing up on our earth yeah. is like reverse engineered like technology, yeah. pandemics, yeah. with viruses and fucking cancers and all that shit. And all the shit we learned about nuclear energy and atomic bombs and fucking genetic shit's the new frontier, fucking <gasps> cloning. Transhumanism. Transhumanism. All kinds of shit. Our AI. Whole, yeah, AI, AI is already fucking moves, taking yeah. over. Yeah. The AI is just, already moving the matrix. Yeah. The fucking Matrix kind of theories and shit yeah. are real. Star Wars theories are real. Oh, there's a video on Star YouTube Trek. I keep meaning to watch, and it says fucking Elon Musk Elon Musk says 2021 is a hologram. Right, and Nikolai, Nikola Tesla, who got little credit and was discredited. Dude, he's, he got the secrets. You know what his secrets are? The th he says, if you if <coughs> you learn, he says, right listen now. carefully, real Too quick. Many. I'm going to well, interrupt I'm real quick. Mother he Teresa. says, uh, Nikola Tesla says, if you understand the magic of the three six nine, you will understand the universe. You know what it has omega three six and nine in it? Hemp seeds. Nikola Tesla, all of Nikola Tesla's technology is still fucking. Uh, it's uh, well, it's in the United States government. They're the ones who fucking took all his paperwork. Yeah. Put him in a hotel. They have absolute corruption. Yeah. They have absolute control. Well, no, because listen, we and can't. Some of them are we can't have free energy. We can't have free energy until all the petroleum is burned and all the CO two is up in the sky for the all the trillion. That could be quite the, possible. The trillions of hemp plants. Necessary greenhouse gases. They told are me. Widely underestimated in the weather pattern. Dude, you know you what? See how fucking cold it is right now tonight in West St. Paul, Minnesota. The ground's fucking cold. Oh, it's morning. fucking winter. And we're we're going through a bunch of shit. By this time of year, we should be in a fucking planting season and fucking. I'm gonna ask for a. I'm gonna ask for a. I'm gonna ask for a June 13th that's the snowstorm. World, that's, that's the planet fighting back. <laughs> well, yeah, man, because Mother Earth Gaia, she been used up too much. She been used and abused way too much, way too much. Yeah. Take, right. take, 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 the take, water, take. The fucking oils, and hemp, the hemp, hemp seeds, cannabis solves the whole problem. They chose this planet to be unique in God's kingdom of all creation and all. You know why? It's races. the garden. It's his it's garden. The garden with all the sacred and foods, all the sacredness, all the hard peyote, ayahuasca, yeah. this cannabis. Is fucking mind blowing to other races when they come here and see the wealth and abundance of. Yeah, it's not in any other planet it's in no any multiverse. Yeah, this is a unique yeah, it is. planet in, in the and entire every, every in the entire creational realms. Intelligent, <laughs> empathetic, compassion, and life supporting life that is willing to honor what someone else respects and respect what mm -hmm. they want me to honor. You know I don't trip out when I get attacked because I'm used to it, man. Because you know what they, yeah. you know what happens? I'm like one of those bug zappers, you know. And People they they just flock. They, they just really flock to me. They it. just yeah. flock to me because do. I'm light. They see the light and they go to the light. They attack it. They fucking. They're not trying to hurt me. They just fucking mug me. They got all. They, they, and then word goes around that this dude is out there, and you can just take all his stuff. Kind of fucked up, but it's all right. It. I'm a light. I mean, I'm shining light seven 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 on the internet, Instagram, Snapchat. Guess what? YouTube. I will be reloaded. Reload. Let me let me load you one, bro. Load me up. Share bro. some of mine. Got on my inner pocket. God damn, this stupid mask is always in my way in the pockets. Here, hold on, it's lighter. Load enough for me too.
Well, yeah, we're going on for all three of us. Thanks, bro. Keep a watch on your and I know what's going on. This is why God sent you as chief of security. I mean, dude, you're the chief of security. When my team gets to be 60,000 strong, you're my chief of security. And you're in charge of the security, the whole team. And you got it. Now, you can you, hold. I want you to call the fucking safe bet. The what? It's, I'm what you call a safe bet of a designated survivor. Yeah. That has been able to fucking see past all the fucking day to day and personal shit and finances and fucking charitable work we do. Yep. And fucking all the fucking bullshit that was totally yep. unnecessary and people don't even try to make amends. Yep. And I'm fucking trying to make amends to myself and everybody else. Yep. And do it for the golden rule and the silver lining. Yeah. The silver lining is. It might not have worked out how you wanted it. Yeah. God made it, or the earth, or the planets, or our people. Yeah. All intergalactically in this planet. Yeah. Have all worked together to restore a better balance. And we're going to have to fucking kick ass and fight to fucking keep it right for what we have. Yep. Unity and, and fucking working together. Unity in the community. The only fucking way we're all going to survive. Because there are things that consume and destroy it. And don't fucking respect intelligent life. Right. And it can be microbial warfare, fucking terrorism shit. Nano warfare, nanotechnology. Nuclear wars, you be AI, atomic wars, environmental disasters. Wait till they say, hey, you know what's the great Eden of Earth? I know. I got an intel drop here. The intergalactic garden. I got an intel drop here. You're so. Oh, listen carefully, man. Let me let me see, dude. That is true, and you know what? We grow the peyote, the ayahuasca, the cannabis, the amanita muscaria, the psilocybin, and no other planet right. that we've ever That's discovered has yeah. that. Right. It's like in that movie Dune, the spice. Exactly. You know? Yeah. This planet is so fucking and incredible. That's why it was relatively and I'm a planetary for, caretaker. For a long time. I'm a planetary caretaker. I have a lot to a do lot with the creation of this planet. Had been here bad times. Yeah, they flock to they it. They flock to it. And, other ones and they get past our defenses. Of gods and things and cultures. The Anunnaki. Yeah. My okay. tribe, my Native American tribe. Right. Yeah, Anishinaabe. Size one, huh? Yeah. Here, you need torch? Yeah. But oh, yeah, you packed a lot of that. Hold this so it don't fall off and fucking give you your bag that fucking D bag. Nice. Ice, ice, baby. Too and cold. Too cold. Ice, Vanilla cold ice, 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 baby. Too cold. Yeah, we ain't too willing cold. to sacrifice our love. Huh? I changed it up. Man, what song is that, dude? Sacrifice our love. That's yeah, a song. I'm just fucking throwing out little shit. So yeah. Like yeah. Thanks, there bro. You know, bro. Got my medicine. medicine. That's medicine. Dude. Got my medicine. And operating good. You awake so you can fucking monitor and do your fucking operations. Yep. Work around the clock. Put in extra. Overtime. Yeah, because you know what? Because we're on a mission. I don't want God. when I go to we sleep. When I go to sleep, ourselves. they steal my time. Yeah. The they time steal stealers. The yeah. time stealers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do they that steal my too. time. There's villains and there's heroes. <laughs> That's what it is. You're fighting crime in your sleep, though. Right, huh? I am. I'm right. fighting crime yeah. in my sleep. Jacob, oh, sorry. Right on head. Oh, yeah, you're anonymous. We're, fu we're fighting fucking crime. Yep. We're fighting the fucking criminal shit. We're fighting destruction of ourselves and our environments yep. that yep. we live in. Yep. And we're fighting warring factions. We're fighting for our fucking our lives. Own people and other people that are somewhat different, but have the same similarities. Yep. Their social needs or reproductive or life sustaining life. And that's where we're all in this on a fucking higher level. If nothing else has been known through the last fucking 100 or 200 years, the fucking escalation of our destructive behaviors and what's capable to fuck up. The exponential planet, fuck up. Exponentially fucking is increasing yep. every fucking year now with new fucking shit. Yep. And we have shit we've created and are brought here or reverse engineered and all kinds of shit that helps us. And we also have enough toxic fuck up shit here mm -hmm. that if we don't fuck it up, we'll survive. And we'll have to fucking do something with it. But some of those things are for fucking energies and fucking technologies that are way more advanced than are even known. But in the same broken, they're also a big liability. Nuclear energy, nuclear bombs. One is for good, one is for destruction. I hate Same nuclear energy. Atomic fucking matters. How about all the precious 
seeds and minerals and plants and herbs and spices mm -hmm. and fucking foods. The food abundance itself. Thank yeah, you, we brother. have starving people everywhere. There's no sanctuary or security in anyone's lives anywhere. Even the people who live in the blessed United States of America, considered a rich country and the land of the free and opportunity, in which we absolutely are. We are also having ourselves a real good swallowing of our pride and putting our bullshit aside to work with the, the entire international community and intergalactic communities. Yep. If you really know what the fuck happens in high level government, intelligence shit, wars, all that shit, and the misinformation and fake news and all that shit is real, but there's also a real fucking reality of what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. This is my own self trained observation. Yeah. Plus, I get my own self involved in insider fucking situations. Yep. And you know what I also do? I fucking improvise. Yep. I fucking come up. Fucking, Improvised explosives. Yeah, I come up fucking, even intelligence. Improvised the intelligence. I have a fucking methodology of operations. Yeah. That I'll make most obviously. Yeah. Or what I'm fucking telling you guys it's just the fucking tip of the iceberg. Oh, no shit. You only see so much of it, and it'll sink your shit. Yep. The whole fucking reality of the knowledge I don't even have, the concepts and ideas I've described here are so fucking complex and crucial and time-sensitive and activism and fucking pledging ourselves allegiance to what we need to defend for our families, our friends, our Family values. Yep. Whether it's here on Earth or those that are peaceful or those that are fucking at war with us. It's not a fucking game. I spent my whole life fucking basically sacrificing any personal life, financial gains, my own physical health, my own mental health, my relationships with people, yep. my enjoyment in life. I don't have material access. I still live humble. I want to be the change we all need mm -hmm. in this world and many others. And I do whatever I feel with my instinctual rights to fucking serve, protect, give people sanctuary, be a charitable person, offer them their needs, whether it's food, clothing, shelter, something to drink, somewhere to be safe, somebody that needs to be loved, somebody that needs to be defended because of how the bullies are, the fucking assholes that are just destructive. They don't care if it's a moral code, you do right or wrong. They don't have that capacity. They're an all-consuming fucking locust that is a prophecy. Mm -hmm. And the fucking it is up against to devour. And this is a quote from the book of Joel. They have a fucking ability to try to devour the family tree. It's a metaphoric sense. Mm -hmm. The family tree is the great universe. And all its intergalactic, high intelligent, coexisting, peace loving fucking peoples, whether we realize it or not. And how fucking hard we all fucking work our asses off. Even behind the scenes, or fucking in some knowledge, or all the shit we go through. Yeah. And we do it for a cause. We're not doing it because we want to boast or have our fucking, our asses fucking entertained as fucking something special more than the fucking needs of the suffering people amongst this planet and anywhere else. It's a whole new fucking level. The whole fucking intergalactic fucking universal game. And this that's game, way next know. level shit. It's way fucking way next level now. shit. Whole another fucking level. Hoka hey, I In the fucking Shh. heaven. Right here on this solid ground where I stand. <clears throat> and I don't budge for my position. I stand my ground. I defend. I fucking protect against any aggressors. Foreign and domestic. And we can do this with our medicines. Our science, our fucking technologies, our education, our accepting of people different than ourselves, but also have similar and like survival needs. Yeah. I watched an insurrection of fucking immigrants show up to this planet, let alone this country. No shit. We're a fucking melting pot. And we've been fucking dealing with this way longer than people fucking realize. Go watch your fucking shows, educational shows, History Channel. Yeah, you know? that's my favorite Weather one. Weather channels, Discovery channels, National Geographic. Yep. Look at the fucking complexities of education and yep. opportunities. Yep. We see how precious things are. We see certain creatures of Earth and other things dying off. We know that we have the capability to fucking melt down the whole fucking livability of this fucking planet. But we're also fucking using it 
to fight fire with fire. We're not going to fucking go down around us. You know what, dude? We're I'm not going to give up. And we're, we're fucking able to be fighters and champions of what's right in so many fucking terms or ways. They are way beyond everyone's respect, and they need to start putting their personal shit aside and fucking give themselves a harsh reality reminder. This fight didn't choose what's causing it. This fight chose what's ending it. And it's either survival of the fittest, or it's fucking basically we have to fucking pray and hope and work hard and earn what we're going to fucking have an abundance of or to be caretakers of. This planet, our species of it, and every fucking intergalactic fucking coexisting peace-loving type peoples that also fight tirelessly to save our asses. Whether it's some men in black fucking spacemen fucking games or fucking covert operations. People have no fucking idea. There's a, what it needs to be is an establishment of how the United States Constitution has been. It fucking guarantees rights. And we find these rights to be inalienable no matter who they are. As long as they're fucking doing what they're doing to fucking support and help all of us, we should be doing the same. Country to country, internationally on this planet, intergalactically, in your own communities, your own towns, villages, your own fucking natural environments. Stop fucking having a race to see how much natural beauty or completely precious and unique nature in gardens and the growth and what gives life that makes our planet so unique as we find this health evident to be true. We have no fucking choice, but we must fight for what is right. Our survival, and if we fucking lose, not only are we losing, we're losing everything. Everything. This planet is now a cosmic fucking graveyard. And on top of that, it throws an influx of the whole fucking galaxy that could have a ripple effect and cause all kinds of shit because of how unique and where we are. And we're not alone in this. ET e. phone home. Yeah, yeah. Nanu, nanu. Yep. And they're fucking goddamn going after every fucking coexisting life supporting planet. That it has a morality to it and integrity. And then we're also got the all consuming fucking problems <gasps> that we have so many fucking angles and subjects to fucking protect ourselves, be knowledgeable, mm -hmm. find ways to prevent, whether it's artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. intergalactic fucking predators that will fuck up our world. Mm -hmm. All kinds of fucking shit. I've been in live action fucking killing aliens that are terrible. And had aliens that are great fucking standing there with me mm -hmm. and fighting. All races and creeds and religions. Saved my life when some others have it. And we've done all this stuff. Catholic missionaries are going all across yeah. the galaxy. Yeah. What you guys think is what the, what the tip of the iceberg is. It's a way bigger deep subject. And I've given a great explanation on why we have to have a unified alliance a unified front of universal and intergalactic and gal galaxy sustaining coexisting and guess who leads that fucking train peace loving life supporting and to ourselves be true our higher powers our serenities mm -hmm. our acceptance mm -hmm. of survival for mm -hmm. all of us mm -hmm. because at the end of the day or the beginning of the next one we're only as good as the people we have in our lives to love and honor. And when they're gone, we must carry on. But if we want to survive all of this and have intergenerational challenges accepted and reduce our fucking goddamn bickering and bullshit amongst ourselves, so hung up upon ourselves, and then to fucking look at the perspective I just provided in this video of how it really is. And yeah. that's what I do for a job. Yeah. And I do all types of work to fucking support myself. Fuck my yeah. My community, my Fuck state, yeah. my country, international shit. I've flown fucking all over fucking places mm -hmm. the last fucking 20 years. Or drove it. Or fucking gone covert. 
Nope. Don't fucking do shit. Yep. And you know what? I also fucking make sure I protect the good people. Yep. Even if I have to fucking let it be known the truth. You bless every place is. you go, don't I you? I bless shit. You bless everywhere I, you go. I bless fucked up situations. Like where I've listed it and all this. And this video. You save lives. And I fucking tried to save lives. I've saved my own life. I've saved others. Others have done that for me. I would do it for them. Absolutely. Not twice. Yeah. I would never question what I would have to do. Because I've proven to do what's righteous. And through thy own self, be true. I know I didn't do it in any guilty, malicious way. I did it in a way that is honorable amongst myself and all coexisting, loving, peace-giving, and life-sustaining peoples. My love and peace. Peace.